Hey, welcome to Electron Online. Here's another example of how we calculate the area expansion due to thermal effect. And uh, let's say that we have a metal plate here with initial temperature, temperature initial equal to 20 degrees centigrade. And let's say we have temperature final equal to 220 degrees centigrade. So it went through a temperature change of 200 degrees. Let's say that it, the plate is made out of steel. It has a hole at the center and the hole has a diameter initially of 10 centimeters before the plate was heated. Now what will be the area final of the hole after it went through that temperature change from 20 to 220 degrees centigrade? Now the misconception often is that when you have a hole in a plate like that and the plate gets heated, that the plate will expand in all dimensions, in all directions. And so typically, even though we of course realize that the plate will expand outward like this uh, due to the heat expansion, and also that the thickness will increase, but we're not going to worry yet about the thickness of the plate. Also, sometimes it's assumed that the plate will also expand inward towards the hole and actually make the hole smaller instead of bigger, but that's not the case at all. The reason for that can be easily understood if, for example, we have a plate that it does not have a hole in it, and instead what we're going to do is simply, with some paint, paint a hole not a real hole, just simply paint a circle of the very same dimension as the hole and then go ahead and have that plate heated up from 20 to 220 degrees centigrade and of course you realize that everything will expand and so will the line expand outward uh, so it doesn't matter if the um, piece of metal that represents the hole is there or is not there it has to expand outward and so therefore we can see that the hole will get bigger as well as the plate. So there should actually, you know, if you have the metal there or the metal not there, you should have exactly the same effect when you heat up the plate. All right, so the area of the hole will get bigger. And of course the equation is that the final area is equal to the original area times one plus two times the linear coefficient of expansion times the change in the temperature. Okay, now let's go ahead and figure out what the initial area is if we given the original diameter we could then say that the original area a sub naught is equal to a pi r sub naught squared but since we were given the diameter we can also write the equation like this we can write it as pi times d initial squared divided by 4 or simply use half of this and plug it in here matter of fact I like to do that better so this is going to be equal to pi times 5 centimeters quantity squared and so that would be equal to 25 centimeters squared times pi. All right, so we can put that in here. Matter of fact, with a calculator, let's just go ahead and get an exact value for that. Not an exact, but close value. 3.14159 times 25 equals, so that would be um, 78.5 square centimeters. Okay, we go ahead and plug that in here. So this is equal to 78.5 centimeters squared times 1 plus 2 times the linear coefficient of expansion for steel that would be 11 so it would be 2 times 11 times 10 to the minus 6 per centigrade degree and then times the change in temperature and you can see here that would be 200 degrees so times 200 centigrade degrees and of course and this cancels out that and let's figure out what that is equal to so we multiply the times, <clears throat> 2 times 11e to the 6 minus times 200 plus 1, close parentheses, and just so that you can see what that is equal to, that's 78.5 centimeters squared times 1.0044. And we multiply the times, 78.5. And so, ooh, actually, well, I'm going to go back and get an exact number for that. So let me do that. So we have 25 times pi equals, so 78.5398, I want to keep the exact numbers, times 1.044 equals, and so that's exactly equal to 78.8854 centimeters squared. Now, I didn't write this to... A more exact number seen in figures, but we'll worry about that in just a moment. Um, let's see here. Let me give you a more exact number for that. So we have 25 times pi equals, and so we have an original area of 
0.53982 centimeters squared. And that's the final value here. Let's see how I got. Uh, we could probably cut off after four decimal places and four decimal places here. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, figure out what my error is by using this equation because remember that was an approximation. What we did was we ignored the little corner of the area expansion and I'm going to now include that. And by what I can do here is this, the following. I can say that the A final of my hole is equal to pi um, R square final. And my R final can be found out by using my linear expansion of coefficients. So what I can say is that R final is equal to R initial times one plus alpha delta T. I'm going to go ahead and use this for my R final right here. So this is equal to pi times R final can now be written as R initial times one plus alpha delta T and that would be quantity squared. So if I plug in the numbers for that, let's see if we get something that's slightly different from this number. So this is equal to pi times our initial, which would be uh, five centimeters, so that would be five centimeters, times one plus uh, alpha, which is 11 times 10 to the minus six per centigrade degree, times delta T of 200 centigrade degrees. And of course, centigrade degrees cancel out, and we have to go ahead and take that number and square it. So let's do that. Let's figure it out like this and see if we get a slightly different answer. All right, so we have 11 E6 minus times 200. We add that to 1. And then we multiply it times 5. And then we square that number. And then we multiply it times pi. And what do we get? We get this is equal to 78 point eight eight five eight centimeters square now let's compare that to our answer right here notice here we got 78.8854 and there we got 78.8858 so you can see that there's a slight difference in the fourth decimal place it's a very minute amount so we have a slight change in the answer and of course in most instances that's not important, that's not uh, really that important, so we can go ahead and, and uh, ignore that. But do realize that this is not the exact equation, but an approximation by throwing away this little square at the very end that we uh, don't want to have part of our equation.